Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to use the Chords Template which is a smart notebook file designed to help music teachers teach their students about guitar chords. You can download the file here. And when you do, it'll look like this. As you can see, there are three slides, the first of which introduces the concept of the chord structure and illustrates the, the diagram and how it relates to the guitar. The second slide explains this in a bit more detail, showing what all of these things mean. The cross meaning don't play the string, the dots meaning place your finger here, etc. The third slide is the one where you'll put your information and this is set up using the infinite cloner tool which means you can simply drag any one of these symbols down onto the diagram in order to show your students how to play a specific chord. Before you actually drag these down it might be prudent to clone this slide so that you've got a blank copy always spare. So right click on the slide, clone it and now here's a copy where you can put some information and below is a copy that's blank in case you want to teach another chord. So let's do a C chord. We're going to drag a copy of this full circle onto the first fret of the second string, then another copy onto the second fret of the fourth string, and a third copy to the third fret of the fifth string. Then we're going to drag a copy of this open circle on top of the first string and the third string because we play both of these strings open. Lastly we're going to drag a copy of this cross to the bottom string because we're not going to play that string at all. And finally we're going to click one, two, three, four, four times and type in C because the chord name is C. So you've finished your C chord as you can see you've got frets 1, 2, 3 used here and 4 and 5 are there as well. If you're doing chords further down the fretboard you can of course change these numbers and if you want to do another chord you simply go to this bottom slide, right click, clone it or the shortcut Control D, then you're ready to put in a new chord. Of course, once your chords are here, saves you having to write them up again, just save the file. Next time you've got the class, load up the file rather than writing it old school on the, uh, on, the white, on the normal whiteboard. Okay, thanks for your time. Hope you enjoyed this, and I hope your students get use out of it too. Thank you.